This is the setup required for AR Portfolio's image-based tracking system. First, you need to create an AR session config. This is for AR core only. And to do this, what you'll do is go to your project section and select all of the images that you want to use for image tracking. Once they're selected, right click and go to create session, or I'm sorry, uh, augmented image database. Okay, this will automatically create object image database. And from here, rename this, whatever you want to call it. And then go to your AR core object and go to the AR core device. This is what we're looking for here. Uh, here it's going to list, this is in the hierarchy, and it's going to list this AR core session. You want to click that once, and that will show you where that is. And I've kept that in this AR core uh, folder. And inside that, there is, a, there is a link right here to the image database you want to use. All you have to do is drag this new database to that and let go. Okay. If you're not going to be using um, ground plane detection, you can turn this off, the, the plane finding mode. And um, same for light estimation. You can also change the camera focus mode here if you want to use the fixed uh, versus auto. I prefer auto. Okay, so once you've set this up though, and again, the steps are very simple. You got to go to the, you select all these images, you create your image database, you select the AR core device here and then click on the session config that it's using and then click that and then drag your images into this slot right here for augmented image database. Now at this point, here's what AR portfolio does for you. It will walk through these images every time that you scan anything in the room and it's going to see if you have, in this case, we have one, two, three, four, uh, images. Anything you list here, any any um, objects that you drag into the drop image marker items here, it's going to basically uh, enumerate them. So if it finds image number one, then it's going to load, it's going to show object number one. Okay, so for every one of these objects, just for every one of these images, just drag an object into here and make sure they're uh, in the order that you want them to be in. So for example, I'm just going to create four duplicates of the Mantis Rover here. And if I had one of them and it was called um, uh, red and one was called green, and I wanted the green one to appear when the first object, uh, first image appeared, then I would look at my test image database. I would see which images appear in what order, and then I would rearrange these to match. Okay. So if this one is the first one, I'll drag it to the top. And that's all you have to do. And then you build and play, and when it recognizes these images, it will hide all of these images, I mean, all of these models automatically. And then when it recognizes the images, it will show that image on that model and track it. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that in this image database, this first image did not score well at all. Quality of zero out of 100 while the Earth got 100 out of 100. This picture by Graham Toms got 85 out of 100, and this soup can got 100 out of 100. We'll cover the details of this in another video, but I just want to tell you that the, the trick is you want to have an object that has different colors and different um, uh, easily recognizable shapes in different parts of the image. So for example, the Earth is a really uh, easy one, because as you can see, uh, even though it's a circle, it has very distinct colors at different sides. So it's definitely white at one side, uh, this kind of reddish at another side. It's not completely symmetrical. So the asymm asymmetry helps it um, track better. So that's just something to keep in mind. In Graham's case, so here's this uh, poster by Graham, uh, we have some kind of similar colors on similar edges, and that's one of the problems. 
So just experiment with it, but know that this quality score here will determine how easy it is to track that object. And that's all there is to it. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.